Bom dia, sejam bem-vindos. Meu nome é Marcela Mota, sou instrutora da Arte de Viver. E hoje a gente preparou algo muito especial para vocês. A gente queria conversar um pouco mais sobre meditação e o caminho espiritual. E principalmente é, sobre por que meditar com um mantra, que é o que a gente faz na Arte de Viver no curso Sahaj Samadhi, que quer dizer meditar, é, relaxar, estar em equilíbrio sem nenhum esforço. E aí, para isso, a gente fez uma sessão de perguntas e respostas com o instrutor sênior da Arte de Viver, que se chama Akash Barual. Ele é indiano e está há mais de 25 anos com o fundador da Arte de Viver, Shri Shri Ravishankar, meditando. É, vocês vão ver ele contar um pouquinho sobre isso também. E ele viaja todo mundo é, ensinando cursos de meditação, treinando os nossos instrutores. E, sabe, depois de um tempo em que a gente está meditando, como a meditação é algo sutil, a gente vai se aprofundando e tendo níveis maiores de sabedoria, de conexão. E por isso é tão legal a gente ter a oportunidade de compartilhar com o sábio. Então, espero que vocês gostem das perguntas que a gente fez. Good evening to you all. Let me um, recount my own experience um, as a 18 or 19 year old teenager when I experienced meditation for the first time. Um, if you can see, I'm not using or I'm not saying uh, that I learned meditation um, because I, I cannot associate, I still don't know if I learned meditation. Uh, to me, it was more of an experience and um, It definitely happened uh, being with them, with my master, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, uh, just sitting uh, naturally uh, around him. And, um, you know, many times we would go for walks, just watch sunsets, uh, sit by the rivers. And those were the first moments I noticed uh, my eyes just dropping down themselves and mind just vanishing or how I would put it now expanding and I wouldn't realize the time um, as you know Gurudev uh, after he uh, sits around or leads us into a meditation he always asks um, did you realize the time and it would you know mostly 20 minutes or half an hour would have passed on and um, those were the moments I felt timelessness and um, it, it was much later on uh, I recognized uh, it as meditation uh, when I started teaching it myself. So um, I definitely believe uh, that Meditation has a very strong vibe to it. If you have ever noticed, uh, when you go to places like temples or churches, or uh, when you go to places where, where there are very happy people, the moment you go, or, or even uh, to a house which has a lot of happy people, you go to the house and uh, you, you notice that their happiness, their vibe, their vibration, um, uh, their peace, uh, it immediately affects us. So, there is no doubt that to be able to be peaceful uh, and, and to learn how to be peaceful, it's, it's a great thing uh, to, have, um, to have a company or friends or people who are teaching you how to be peaceful, they should be peaceful themselves. Um, and when you meditate and when you're learning with a master, when you're learning with a teacher who has been, uh, have, who has a calm mind himself, uh, you will notice it helps you to uh, 
uh, experience that calmness, it helps you to go into that uh, space of mind very easily. So that is very, that's, a, that's an important factor uh, to learn it with a master. Of course, uh, uh, one could say we, you know, it's easier to read from books or um, watch a video on YouTube. Uh, but of course, as you all understand, there is a big difference between uh, um, just reading um, uh, a musician or just watching him on YouTube and just being there on the live uh, show with him. Uh, because then you, you catch on to that vibe you catch on and it becomes easier for when you do it in a group, when you do it with lots of people, uh, then you notice that it starts touching you and it becomes easier uh, for us to go within. And that is it. it. That is why it is important to learn it with the teacher. Here in The Art of Living, we teach um, an amazing and easy uh, process a beautiful word called Sahaj. Sahaj means uh, being at ease or um, something which is very natural, something uh, which just happens. It's being at ease. So the meditation is called Sahaj Samadhi and, and a meditation, a form of meditation which is very natural and um, uh, it's, it takes you deep within yourself. And what do you do? Um, we use these ancient um, mantras or root sounds. And when those root sounds or mantras are taken in the right manner, one starts noticing that going deep within yourself or for the mind to become calm, it becomes very easy. So that is what is being used. So during Sahaj Samadhi, you are initiated into a mantra. And that is why a teacher is also needed because he knows what mantra to give you, right? Uh, the way I would put it is uh, like how your car, your, the window shield of your car needs cleaning very often and uh, if you've noticed that even when you've cleaned your car and after one or two days when you go outside the wind windscreen or the windshield of your car is still dirty so then the moment you use your wipers you are able to see very clearly take the take the mantra or the meditation as a wiper which helps you to see during the meditation, what happens is that all our um, deep-seated stresses and and uh, all all the past and everything which has been heavy on our mind, that starts getting released. And that is the beauty, and uh, that is why we feel more lighter, we feel more calmer, and we feel uh, more sharp when the mind is um, free of thoughts. When the mind is free of um, stresses, you will notice that uh, your observation and your perception, uh, your senses become heightened. It's a beautiful thing. And you're, you become emotionally very elevated also. So, um, Sahaj is a very, very uh, easy to learn form of meditation which can be practiced every day, wherever you are. And that is the beauty of it. In earlier times, um, if you went to a master asking for meditation or to, to be taught, to be initiated into meditation, it uh, the master would be very um, uh, careful in, uh, you know, imparting this beautiful knowledge because uh, it was always felt that only the ones who deserve should be given this high knowledge, this beautiful uh, meditation, the, 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 the secret of meditating. So uh, uh, the master would take their time, they would uh, make the, the person or the disciple go through different tests, processes to prepare them. 
and uh, i'm i'm happy and i'm grateful to the master gurudev uh, shri shri ravi shankar ji that he made it available to everybody out there because he feels that uh, um, you know in today's world everybody deserves meditation yes uh, you know so the important and the good thing is that uh, just a little bit of discipline that we keep in our lives can really really help us and that is what each of us needs to do and uh, that is why uh, uh, you know the, this beautiful science of meditation this percolated from uh, the master to the disciple and down the ages thousands of years uh, because this is very experiential you see that only a meditator can the one who meditates can impart because uh, this lesson has to be imparted experientially so that is why uh, this knowledge came down uh, not through books or lessons but from physic from their uh, deep experiences of meditation and from thousands of years this knowledge this is how it has come about that's it if you have noticed these past one year has been mm, so interesting for the whole of humanity in many ways for the first time when i heard uh, my own master uh, saying uh, that that sadness is not really a bad thing many times because it's the boredom or the sadness in our lives all these deeper experiences that we have gone through which uh, many times awaken us if you have noticed it's interesting all around the world right now i have been very surprised myself because of the covid and there is has been so much of anxiety out there with the people uh, so many people losing their lives and you know really don't know what to do so many you know people out there have started um thinking about life in a very different context people have started asking themselves questions which they usually wouldn't have you know many many of my friends have you know they share with me that um it's interesting that they have started respecting life um much more and uh, you know they have uh, started to think more than material things in their life that uh, life is not just being comfortable making money um or having a big name or you know so um to me this is the beginning of spirituality correct uh why because uh deeper experiences of in our life sometimes uh you know when our mind gets bewildered for a moment we get empty and in those moments of emptiness we start questioning life we start questioning everything around us it's interesting and uh, masters put those moments of emptiness uh, experience of it, it they're like the experiences of meditation so that is why traditionally um meditation has been very strongly connected to spirituality because there's no not a really big difference uh, it is i would call meditation as a vessel which uh, which brings us deeper it makes us deeper so yes meditation is the the key the key to um have um an open mind meditation is the key to have um a you know a kinder heart meditation is the key to um a happier us and that is spirituality finally <laughs>